Coming up on MHS1. We take a look at our school's welding program. We check out the Black Student Union. And we raise an ear to see exactly what our school is listening to. And that's all coming up on MHS1. Good morning, McKinney High School. Today is Friday, October 15th. I'm Champ Presley. And I'm Haley Hester, and you're watching MHS One. One of the various programs at our school doesn't get a ton of press, but that's about to change. Alex Robbins takes us behind the scenes of the welding program. While there are many classes at McKinney High School that offer unique experiences or have lots of post-high school value, there's nothing quite like the McKinney High welding program. You should take the class if you're interested in trying to prepare for a career, working with your hands, working with your minds. Um, it's not the easiest class, it's not the easiest profession, but um, the pay is tends to be pretty good. You don't have to have a college degree. Um, it is something for those that do not necessarily enjoy the sit down, watch PowerPoint kind of classes, um, but we do not, we're not lazy and we'll, we'll work you pretty good. Um, but it's, it's pretty rewarding, and I think uh, you get out of it as much as you put into it. Uh, I joined welding because I thought it's going to be a great life skill to have later on. And also, uh, one day I want to be a fabricator and I have my own mechanic shop. And so I feel like this helps me advance that dream faster. And then currently I'm working on a trailer. We're just rewiring it, adding light boxes and simple things. Uh, currently in this class we have a uh, cabinet uh, style smoker that Ishmael and Braden are finishing up on. Um, we have a couple other students that are building new welding booths for us. We are getting some new machines and we need some more welding booths. We don't have enough for students we have in the classes. And then uh, a few others with Alan and uh, Chase and Aiden are building some tables to go into our welding booths. So we kind of have a lot of irons going right now. This has been Alex Robbins reporting for MHS One. The McKinney Education Foundation advisors encourage students to dream about and plan for college and guide parents through the process of applying to colleges and introduce resources that can help students be set up for success. When MEF started in the early 90s, the purpose of MEF was to provide a scholarship for every senior. But as McKinney grew, obviously that was not possible. So MEF put a college advisor on every campus so we could help you guys find outside scholarships. So um, that was the original purpose, but because obviously you have to get into college in order to use your scholarship, it became, we do everything college related. We are here housed on campus, so they can come to our office um, any day of the week. They can also make an appointment with us. They can email us. Um, I, we're also in classes, so they can always come get information that way. You can find our MHS College Advisor in room F102 or reach her at bribble at mckinneyisd.net. This has been Aiden Lewis and Champ Presley reporting for MHS One. At McKinney High, we'd love to see the community of clubs and organizations around our school. One of these is the Black Student Union. Andrea Carvajal takes us to see what this club is all about. The BSU is a student-led organization where students can share their stories of experiencing racial inequality and discrimination. I think it's important that we have a Black Student Union to kind of represent marginalized groups and people who feel like they've been marginalized themselves in society. I feel like this club is meant to provide an open space for students who feel like they don't know where they belong or they don't know where they fit in. And I feel like it's kind of there to just serve as like a community for like those who need it. We'll start out with maybe a video or Emily, our president, uh, maybe showing a game or just something like that, get everybody involved. And then once we do that, we'll go into like what we actually want to talk about as a group together. 
the PSDU tackles issues of social justice using their firsthand experience to address racism and its impact. I joined BSU my junior year because at the time I was facing racial discrimination and I felt like it was the best place for a safe space. Uh, it's been good because I've gotten a place to talk to people and share some things that have been on my mind and probably were on other people's mind. As president, I feel like a greater responsibility to like be there for my peers and make sure that I'm being as involved as I can within um, McKinney High's African American community. Don't just see it as like African Americans only. See it as a place to like learn, educate, just a place to be safe and have um, deep, meaningful conversations that can impact your life and others around you. The BSU meets every other Tuesday at 245 in room E109 with snacks provided. This is Andrea Carvajal reporting for MHS1. Music is something many students say they can't live without, but what are they actually listening to? Braxton Anders, Emma Holman, and Reagan Short give us insight on what's playing in the ears of those at McKinney High. Hi, I'm Braxton Anders. And I'm Reagan Short. And we're live in the hallways of McKinney High School asking people, What are you listening to? Excuse me, excuse me. What are you, what are you listening to and by who right now? I'm listening to One Ads by Honeycomb. Thank you so much. Excuse me, excuse me, miss, excuse me, miss. What are you listening to and by who right now? I'm listening to Mirrorball by Taylor Swift. Excuse me, sir, excuse me, sir. What are you listening to and by who right now? Uh, Billy Not Really by Death Now, now, Billy, not really. Now, now, Billy, not really. What are you listening to and by who right now? Dougie B, Brother Lou, you love. Thank you so much. Question, clear question. What are you listening to and by who right now? Uh, Rolling in the Deep by Adele. Thank you so much. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. What are you listening to and by who right now? Um, Buzzing in the Light by Doc Dr. Dog. Thank you so much. We're back in the halls at McKinney High School. Day two. Quick question, quick question. What are you listening to and by who? Excuse me, sir. What are you listening to and by who? Uh, Way Too Sexy by Drake. Uh, too sexy Thank you so much. For this, sir. Too sexy for you. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. What are you listening to and by who right now? <laughs> Strawberries and Cigarettes by Troy Savannah. Strawberries and Cigarettes. Excuse me, excuse me. Quick question, quick question. What are you listening to and by who? Uh, the album is called House Fires. Bye. <laughs> What are you listening to and by who right now? Um, I'm listening to No Children by the Mountain Goats. No Thank you so much. Land. Excuse me, you excuse me, sir. Down. Excuse me, sir. What are you listening to and by who right now? Um, I'm listening to, um, yeah. Thank you. Now here's Brylin Schrock with our sports update. Volleyball lost two weeks ago to Broswell with a score of 2-3 to three and lost to Allen and a guy in the past two weeks with a score of 0-3. to three. Volleyball plays tonight at 5 p.m. Another edition of the Crosstown Showdown against Boyd here at our very own MHS at 5 p.m. As well, Swim lost on Wednesday to Plano East and plays Boyd and Denton Geyer October 30th at 6 p.m. here at our very own Natatorium. Well, that's all we have for you today. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at Mainstream News and on Instagram at MHS Mainstream. And remember, if it's news and it's at McKinney High School, it's, it's MHS, MHS 1. 1.